later and I don't know, I haven't even started the vlog yet. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another vlog. I am starting this vlog off pretty in a rush because I need to go and quickly shovel my driveway before I leave for dance. It is Tuesday if I haven't mentioned. I did a little bit of vlogging this morning and then I got working. Worked for about seven hours and then now we're here and we're going to dance, which I might be late because it is snowing. I'm actually surprised that dance wasn't canceled today, but kind of sucks because I have to drive like an hour there. But I'm gonna go quickly, go out there <laughs> and go to dance. So I'll see you guys at dance or after dance. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, bye. Hey guys, what is up? Good morning. It is now Wednesday and I think I started off the vlog yesterday very quickly on my way to dance and then I never got any other footage after that. So I just went to dance, came home. I got a few groceries last night. I just got like my typical like eggs, milk, um, berries, bananas, yogurt. I think that's it. There's a few other things, but I forget. But yeah, it's now Wednesday, and we are starting the day out. It is very cold here in Canada. I think they said with wind chill, it's like negative 33, which is insane and so cold. I have mittens on, and it is freezing. But I quickly wanted to come out to Michael's to return the stuff that I got from Michael's that I showed you guys in last week's vlog. I think I got that on Thursday or Friday and my things were too big for what I purchased, so I came back today. You'd think I'd be, like, smart enough to remember to bring one of the sheets that I knew what the size was of the meal planning sheets, if you do not know what I'm talking about. I purchased stuff to make, like, a DIY um, recipe book for my kitchen because I have a ton of sheets from different meal plan services like HelloFresh, Good Food, and Chef's Plate, and I really want to, like, make a binder or some sort of book to put all of those recipes in. So I have, like, a little, like, DIY recipe book. And I purchased stuff from Happy Planner. Ended up being too small. I would get the extra large Happy Planner or whatever it's called. But I feel like it'll be really, really expensive. The big stuff is bigger or more expensive than the smaller stuff. And the hole punch itself is like $49.99. I know I could use like a Michael's coupon code on it, but I really don't want to spend that much money just on the hole punch alone. So what I think I'm going to do, someone commented in the vlog that I showed you guys all the stuff and said that I should get a scrapbook so that I can just like put the meal things like in the sleeves, which is so much easier than having to hole punch every single one of the things. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a scrapbook and hopefully I can find one that like each page, I think that's what a scrapbook is. It's like when each page is just one big thing. So fingers crossed I can find a cute one. I'm going to bring you guys in. We're going to return this stuff and then we're going to look at all of these scrapbooks and like photo albums and binders and stuff. Hopefully because I don't have an actual physical paper, I can remember the general size. I'm pretty sure they were like eight and a half by 11, like a typical sheet of paper. Maybe a little bit wider, I'm not sure, but you'd think they'd just make it eight and a half by 11. Whoa, can you stop speeding through the parking lot, please? Thank you. Okay, let's go into Michael's. I think we found something, guys. Okay guys, so we are now home from Michael's. That was a very quick trip, and this is what I ended up getting. It's just a very, very basic black scrapbook, and it has 10 pages, but each page is double-sided, so it can hold 10 different things. It has this little square on the front, so I might go and design a little like recipe title page kind of thing. But yeah, it was just very basic. It has these pages here. I'm crossing my fingers that these are going to fit. So we're gonna get them. I'm pretty sure they will, because I'm pretty sure they're just a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet. Will they fit? They're perfect! Woo! I'm so excited. Okay, so what I first need to do before I actually start putting them all in is I need to go through this entire deck here, 
deck. I'm talking about it like it's a deck of cards. But um, yeah, I need to go through and pick out all of the ones that I liked the most. Also the ones that don't contain any beef or pork because I don't eat that anymore. Um, when I used to get these a while ago, I was still eating that kind of thing. So I need to go through and pick out all of the poultry based or vegetarian fish kind of based meals and then we're going to put them in here so i'm going to quickly do that with you guys i also need to make myself some breakfast i haven't had breakfast yet haven't even had coffee because i was planning on getting starbucks but then i talked myself out of it because i really don't need to get it i can just make coffee here so that's what i'm going to do give jenna a round of applause because she didn't get starbucks but yeah let's get into this and then we're gonna head downstairs and work for the rest of the day because today's wednesday and then i only have tomorrow and then the shop opens at 12 noon eastern standard time on friday which is crazy so we gotta get lots of work done but yesterday was a very productive day didn't vlog any of it because I was just cutting stickers all day, but I cut a ton of stock of all of the item stickers and all of the foiled stuff. I'm not actually foiling stuff until they're ordered. So they're like half made to order, half ready to ship. Cause like all the sheets are cut, they're just black. And then I just have to put the foil onto them if that makes sense. So yes, all of that stuff I got done yesterday, which I'm very happy with. But anyways, we're gonna get through all this and then do that. Okay, this looks really weird. Let's start organizing. all finished it looks beautiful I took this out so I have this kind of as a template to what size I should put so that's gonna go there it actually has like a little clear thing too but I wanted to show you guys quickly all of my recipes this one I want to make soon this is a creamy white vegetarian chili I made this and it was by far one of my favorite like meal plan meals that I ever made it is the best chili ever it was so good so I had to put that at the front and then we have just some soups. There's like a tortilla soup, clam chowder, and then we have some stuffed peppers, some risotto, some different pasta dishes here and here and here. And then we move into a few like different bowls. This one right here was really good. It's a cauliflowered rice and um, guacamole bowl. And then we move into a few like calzone thingies. And then we have some flatbreads. We have some grilled cheeses, which this one is so good. It's fig jam and brie. And I was a little bit weary of it at first, but oh my goodness, best thing ever. I've made that a few times after the first time. This one's also really good too. It's a spinach and artichoke grilled cheese. Yum. And then we have a few burgers at the back. So yes, that is everything for my little make do kind of thingamabob scrapbook recipe book and that's probably gonna go there with all my recipe books so yeah Saturday morning. <laughs> Can't get up this early. I'm so tired. Then go back to sleep. Once you leave. You're gonna go back to sleep? Yeah. Good. I have no yoga today. No yoga. But I have dance. And then what are we doing? Eating pizza. 
that's that's all you're getting from this outing. It's for eating pizza. Oh, I guess we're seeing a magic show. Mm-hmm. Do you think I'd be able to get any footage of that? Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to have to read tickets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's magic. A magician against the magician. Battling magicians? Yeah. Okay, I need to make breakfast. I have to leave in 15 minutes. Oh, okay. I'll see you guys. Maybe at dance. Maybe not. We'll see. Hello. I'm now back from dance. And... Out again. Out again. Didn't get much time to relax. I actually, right when I got home, had to finish uh, editing the makeup declutter video, which that is up when you guys are watching this. So definitely, if you haven't gone and checked it out, go check it out. It's a good one. It's about a half an hour long, so it actually isn't too, too long for a declutter video, which I'm amazed about. But yeah, and then I had to record a voiceover for that. Got ready quickly, and now we have headed to Francis' parents' house because we're having pizza, hanging out for a bit, and then we're going to that dueling magicians yeah. thing, which I don't, I still don't know if I can get any footage of that, but we'll see. Maybe I can see a little bit. I'll read the tickets and see what it says. Yeah. But yes, I will see you guys a little bit later. Mainly all of the footage for this vlog is going to be tomorrow because we're going to Ikea and I want to do an Ikea shop with me. So you guys will already know that because that's going to be the title of the video. So yeah. Okay. We're at his parents' house now. Okay. Bye. So filming when the show is going on is strictly prohibited. Prohibited. But now it isn't. But we're here. Yeah. Woohoo. Who are you rooting for? Mike Dillard. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for. Because uh, Ray Chance. Ray Chance. Like he, he's too foggy. He's Filipino. But he's too foggy. Yeah, he looks cool. He just looks nerdy as heck. You're gonna vote for the nerd, and I'm gonna vote for the cool guy. He's not cocky. He's, full He's not cocky. No. You made it. Hi. You haven't been on my vlog for a long time. Do you miss me, everybody? <laughs> I'm so oh, thank you. He's running away. Everybody's here. <laughs> okay, your mom's a fan favorite, isn't it? I go back. I go She's a fan favorite. We are officially starting the IKEA shop. What are you guys looking Are you excited? Yeah. Look with me. Look with me. Because there's a lot of cute rooms that I want to show you guys. I'm also gonna get some. I know I have What? That's cute. That you like that. Guys, Francis really likes those. You're so cute. I think for the I'd like it like cotton so it's like clouds. Aw, they are they kinda look like clouds. It's kinda cute. People on YouTube. So many people on YouTube have them. They're really cute. I think they're pretty cheap, actually. So many cute things. Really? Yeah. You can feel it. Shelf insert. Oh. Isn't that like a waste of a entire shelf? Oh yeah, like good storage, and then just put display stuff in the front. Smart. Cute. These are my dream floors, if anyone's interested. White floors.
right here, everybody, is my dream kitchen. So nice. No table there. So I'm obsessed with this thing, but I don't know what to use it for. Hmm. And you don't need one then if you don't know what to use it. But I want it though. Well, I, I like them cute. too, but I like the colors too. The blue, the red. The blue is pretty. Yeah. But but white. But what white has use? my heart. I don't know. Phone? No it's idea. Big. It's very large. I don't need it, but I don't know. I, 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 I don't need it. So I really, really like these pink hexagon plates, but they're sold like individually. And I don't really want to have to wrap it up. But mom's getting some bowls. It's so two blue cute. and two white. Cute. Good for ice cream or fruit. Yeah, little fruit. Ready. Yogurt would be perfect. Comes my weakness. Throws. This one's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Ikea's like upping their game with throws. Holy. Oh, this one's cute too. Oh, I saw that one on a sofa and Little I thought that was cute. plaid one. Oh my goodness, they have so many. I'm in my weakness section, babe. Blankets. Oh, yep, I have that one. That one's in Penny's bed currently. <laughs> it's Penny's blanket. It's not the pattern or the yeah. I have this pink one. This pink one is on my bed, and it is my favorite thing. The materials thin. Yeah. They have a dog area. So cute. Ooh, these were the baskets that I liked. No, I guess you just take out. I love these, but I don't need them, do I? I love these. But they're sold out. <laughs> so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> So many cute things, little baby things, little baby things, so many cute things. <laughs> <laughs> shopping in the area. No, we have to but go to the we have to go to the as is section. The best section in the place and we're gonna pick out, I wanna pick out at least one thing that I have to like DIY. So I'm excited about that. That's a nice shirt coming. Reminds me of yours a little bit from the great ones from Shrek So 
it is now the next day. I wanted to show you what I got from Ikea. So we're gonna do a little Ikea haul right now. I spent on all of this stuff $103, which my budget going to Ikea, I said to myself, if I wanted to buy anything, I can't go over $100. So I did go over by $3, but not a big deal. And everything that I got are things that I really did need. And well, a few of them I didn't really need, but they're just cute. So anyways, the first thing that I got, I needed a new one of these. I have the same one, but in black. And it is just gross. I've tried to wash it multiple times. It's like the bath mat that you put outside your shower. And yeah, so I'm just going to throw that one out because I've had that one since I was in college. So that's kind of gross. And then this is the new one that I got. I just got the gray one, light gray one. And it is just very, very fuzzy and cozy and new. So I believe those were also on sale for like $7.99, which is awesome. And then moving on to a few more towel things. Oh boy. This right here is a two pack of towels for the kitchen. I've been meaning to pick up a few of these. A lot of the um, towels that I have on my kitchen, in my kitchen, like that you put on your oven, they don't like absorb the water correctly. So I'm trying to like dry off like pots and pans and stuff. And it just like moves around the water instead of, you know, soaking up the water and drying off the pot and the pans. So. So I had to get these ones. The texture seemed a little bit more porous and like it would actually gather up water. So just got it in this light gray and white color scheme with the checkered. Really, really liked those. And then I also picked up a hand towel for my bathroom in this peachy pink color. I have the matching, um, what are they called? Like face towels, like the little tiny ones. But this one is the bigger one that you hang and this is what you dry your hands on in the bathroom. So I decided to buy one of those just to match my hand towels. And then last thing in this big bucket that I'm also going to show you guys is something breakable, which I found this. It is the cutest. If you haven't seen my room in a while, I'm starting to add in this mustard yellow color. And I thought this tray was really, really cute. And I figured I could put this on my shelf in my bedroom. I Love this so much. So cute. So got that. It was pretty cheap. And I believe it's a new product at Ikea. And like I mentioned, the large box basket container thing that I was taking everything out of is this right here. It is just a wood container. And then I don't know if you guys can see this illustration here, but it has this little handle that you like screw to the bottom. And then you can like hold it and I'm actually gonna put this underneath my sink and put all of my cleaning products into it. And then it makes it easy for when I have my cleaning days. I just take this out with all my cleaning products. I guess it's called like a caddy. I got a wood caddy, that is what it's called. So yeah, I thought that was really cute and a way I can organize my under the sink. And then next up we have this watering can. I feel like if you do keep up with um, Ikea, like shop with me's and Ikea hauls, this is something that a lot of people have been showing on their videos and I think this is the cutest watering can. I do want to start buying real plants again. I do have a lot of fake plants but I really want to try real plants again. I have had real plants in the past, but unfortunately they did die. So this time around, I'm taking it seriously and I'm going to make sure they live with that watering can. And then the last two things are for my kitchen. The first thing, this is something that I didn't really need, but I think it would be really, really cute to decorate the kitchen and also really practical when it comes to cooking at home, which is something that I want to start doing more um, in 2019. So yes, I got this. It's a little recipe book kind of holder. So you get your recipe book, you open it to the page and then it's just, it can sit up on here. I thought it was really cute. I think it was like $15. And then the last thing I got was a cooking board. This is actually something that I went into Ikea knowing that I needed to get. I have a cooking board or a cutting board. Did I say a cooking board? It's not a cooking board, Jenna. It's a cutting board. I needed a cutting board because my current cutting board is getting all wonky and it's really small and this one is really nice. I also have like a large 
marble one but that one's like really really heavy and it's hard to like take in and out of the cupboard so that one I just take out when I know I'm like cutting a lot of stuff but when I'm just quickly bringing this out to like cut up just small things then this is a great thing to have so yes that is everything that I purchased from Ikea I hope you guys enjoyed um and that's everything for the vlog so yeah I love you guys so much be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Ikea shop with me let me know oh wait 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 I did also get something else. This is the thing that I found in the as is section. I think I mentioned in my footage at Ikea that I wanted to like DIY something or like refurbish something I guess but I found this and it's perfectly fine so I'm not going to refurbish it but let me know down in the comments if you guys would want to see a video where I do like Ikea hacks and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of those videos on YouTube and I really really love them and I've been looking up Ikea hacks on Pinterest and stuff and I just think it's so interesting. So let me know if you guys would want to see Ikea hacks on like how to redo things from Ikea in a different way to make them like more cool, I don't know. And then also let me know if you want me to do a video where I go to an Ikea as is section, find something in that section that's like totally crazy and then try to make it into something practical and like home decor -y. So let me know that. But the thing that I found was just a pillow cover pillowcase cover and this one's really cute because it's like a I don't know what this is did you guys hear that in my voice it's like a sweater material and I think it is so cute and I've been trying to find a dark gray pillow cover for a really long time with a little bit of texture for my couch so this excuse me was perfect and I'm so glad I found it but I do have to cut off this little thingy here but yes super cute and I believe it was half price originally $19.99 on for $10 so awesome they actually did have two but I just bought one anyways I love you guys so much remember to comment those things down below if you want to see those videos and be sure to check out all of my other videos if you haven't seen any of my declutter series videos I've been doing a ton of those and I've been loving them and so have you guys so I'm so happy with that anyways I love you guys remember you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in my next one Hey guys, it's Jenna, what is up, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys 